Hey guys, how you doing? Mowers and blowers here again. So uh, we're expecting our third nor'easter today, uh, tonight at least, and uh, they say three to seven inches. I had put away all my uh, snow blowers because I uh, <laughs> thought we were done, you know, and then of course that's what happens, you know, Murphy's Law. And, uh, you know, so three snowstorms already since I put that stuff away. So I've been stuck using uh, single stage snow blowers, you know, my uh, 11 uh, Toro snow commanders. Which, believe it or not, uh, because of the announcement of the snow, um, I'll probably sell a couple today, you know, which is good. So, uh, in the meantime, though, there's a ton of snowblowers out there online because, you know, people haven't been buying them because we haven't had any snow. Um, there was this one guy who was selling a Craftsman um, 522, 5 horsepower, 22 uh, wide. Uh, you know, one of those old ones. I've had two or three of them. You guys have seen them on my videos and stuff. And, uh, well, he had it for like $125, which, you know, all in all, that's a pretty good price. But uh, you know me, I'll, I'll I'll let him simmer a little bit. So I offered him 50 bucks, and he simmered for a while, probably two weeks, almost three weeks. And today he was like, hey, I had it. You want it? 50 bucks, come get it. So right, right now I'm, I'm headed towards this place, uh, and it's like 25, 30 minutes away from my house. And so um, I'm gonna go pick it up now. It's uh, for 50 bucks. I think he said all it needs is a carb clean. Your destination is on the right. All right, I think I'm here. Talk to you guys in a minute. It is Trump country out here. So I went a little crazy. Yeah, I know, I hate leaf blowers. I kind of like chainsaws. There's a Poulon Pro. I think that's another Poulon uh, Wood Shark, which I used to have. I have one of those videos for it. This is a weed eater. Oh my god, don't don't you hate weed eaters? I hate weed eaters. Now here I've got a, uh, this, I've wanted this for a while. This is uh, one of those weed, whatever, whackers. Like DR makes them, whatever, DR. You know, this is old. It's like a Tecumseh, but this is a Yard King 522. Oh, cool. So he said this one doesn't start, but you know what? This, this is cool. So I paid 20 for this, 50 for that. 10 bucks each for the chainsaw and the uh, leaf blowers. I hate leaf blowers, but you know what, man? 100 bucks for Mother Load 7. Mother Load 7, yeah. You know what, man? I mean, I've got so much stuff in my uh, garage and my shed, but nevertheless, you get a good deal. You got to buy them, you know? Hopefully, I'll sell some snow blowers today and uh, I'll make up for this, uh, this buy right there, you know? Mother Load 7. Whatever, man, it's uh, equipment that you know you're going to be able to fix, you know you're going to be able to sell it, you know you're going to be able to profit, whatever it is. You invest a little bit of money, you can make a lot of money. You build up your inventory. I don't care if I have two, three garages full. As long as it's equipment that all works, you're going to be able to sell it for way more money than you paid, right? Anyway, uh, taking this home, and uh, see you guys later. So I've got the stuff home now. You guys can see, this is a uh, five horsepower Craftsman, 22 inch wide. Clearing path, uh, that's the auger right there. Usually these things that are so old don't come with the uh, compartment here with the extra shear bolts. It's very cool, actually has some. Definitely use these. Has electric start. It's complete. Guy just says, uh, just doesn't start because sometimes it starts, but electric start works. Just needs a carp clean. Guy gave me an extra auger belt too. Another part of the deal was this. It's a Yard King weed trimmer. I always wanted one of these things. Sure beats the uh, weed whackers, you know what I mean? Uh, I just pulled it a little bit and uh, it started for a second. There's no gas in it, but uh, pretty sure it needs a carb clean. But not too bad, I don't think. Other than that, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I always wanted one of these things. Anyway, I got that for 20. Got that for 50. So 50 and 20. And then, of course, I couldn't resist. He had a box of this. 
they all look like they're in pretty good shape. Got the Poulon Pro leaf blower. Yeah, I know. I never have any good luck with leaf blowers. Oh no, a weed eater. Those things are like a curse, man. They never work right. I once spent two, two or three days working on a weed eater leaf blower. They suck. But whatever, man. Ten bucks each. Look like they're in pretty good shape. Chainsaw. This looks just like that uh, one of the first videos ever made, a uh, Poulon wood shark. It looks just like it, but the uh, blade looks like it's a 14 or a 16. Very short. Whatever, man. Ten bucks. I can get this stuff running. I mean, it doesn't look bad. You know, they all look like they're in pretty good shape. You know, <laughs> guy kept all this crap in his garage, so it's not bad. Yeah, man. You know. I call this the mother load seven because every time you get more than one item and you bundle it, bundle deals, get great deals, man. Hundred bucks for all this stuff with uh, spring coming around and all the landscaping uh, starts. People are going to want that. They're going to want those for sure. Well, maybe not right away because that's more like a fall season kind of uh, equipment. But you know what? Hurricanes, storms, trees fall down, you're gonna need a chainsaw. All this stuff for a hundred bucks, I think that's a pretty good deal. You know I'm gonna turn this stuff around and sell them easily. <laughs> but uh, I can never turn down a good deal. For example, the uh, 11 Snow Commanders. Probably gonna sell a couple today, actually. Because we got a storm brewing. Anyway, that's my Mother Load 7 pick, man. hundred bucks for Two leaf blowers, a chainsaw, one of those DR type uh, Yard King weed trimmers, and a two stage snow blower, 100 bucks. Yeah, I usually don't like to pay 100 bucks, but uh, look, I sold that damn weed eater uh, riding mower, that piece of junk, for 100 bucks. So if somebody would have asked me, hey, I'll trade you the snow blower, this weed trimmer, and those three items for your uh, broken riding mower, would you do it? Absolutely, I would do it. So, all in all, I think this is a good deal, man. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.